Hello everyone, welcome to a review of this a Honda CRV 2 litre EVTI CVT. So, this is the automatic version that I'm reviewing at the moment. But let's have a look around. This car looks lovely, doesn't it? It's um, a bit different from the usual SUVs, but has this nice smooth flow about it and uh, good presence. Dare I say, it's a uh, stylish uh, Honda with good proportions, good styling all around and really great aerodynamics even these little attention to detail look and these little things here are just to help with aero and reduce the uh, wind noise because obviously being so big they will have a bit of wind noise there um, you can't get away with it fully but it does help reduce it a little bit otherwise main competitor well you've got the Ford Cougar you've got the Honda CRV sorry Honda CRV uh, the Toyota RAV4 as an example and you've got the usual like your Nissan Qashqai's but really in my personal opinion things like the Nissan Qashqai the Kajar aren't a patch on this the Honda I mean if you're looking at this the nearest competitor I think is the RAV4, RAV4 really in terms of overall quality that's just my personal opinion I just think the these two cars are far better and I'm really not sure why they don't people go get the cash car instead no idea unless you know they're leasing and it's supposed cheaper but in the long run if you're looking you're looking at this video looking for a used buy well tell you what would you get an 09 Qashqai or an 09 Cougar over a Honda CRV or a RAV4? I don't think you would. You wouldn't put your money on those, would you? Uh, these cars are a lot more robust. Rel but reliability wise, yeah, the RAV4 probably beats it. But this car, as you'll see from the drive, has a more grown up ride compared to the RAV4. And looks that little bit better and lovely in this EX top of the range spec with the uh, tinted windows I have to give you a little bit of a disclaimer that I do believe although those guys those have Honda hubcaps on them I do not think they're original I think they're aftermarket ones there but the uh, standard size let's have a look 19 inches yeah and that's about the perfect size for it looks well proportioned I love these design they tried to do this swoopy thing to make it look a little bit more sporty. And I think it's a good idea really. It just breaks up the square boxy shape it would otherwise look like. And uh, like the uh, copper, um, sorry, the chrome accents there just to finish it off. Looks very elegant. And um, yeah, so before I go on the inside, let's just go for a quick little drive. So drive wise, it is um, this two liter I think uh, struggles with the weight of this CRV uh, in the Accord in the Civic it is monstrously powerful perfect for those cars but in this one in the CRV it struggles it's no sports car but once you get going so here it is at 40 but I've obviously had it up at 60 70 mile an hour it handles that speed nicely and calmly it's not too loud or anything like that um, and in terms of road noise it's not too bad good insulation excellent visibility as you can see with the big mirrors and it's a nice comfortable place with good height elevated position so uh, you feel like you've got good vision all around and uh, feel that little bit uh, you get that assurance of safety I suppose um, especially for those of a nervous disposition and um, for parents obviously it gives you that reassurance when you've got the kids in the back that uh, when they're higher up and in a car that feels really solid to the ground um, God forbid in any uh, accident then your precious little angels are in the safest possible vehicle really so it kind of uh, tells you why everyone loves SUVs um, and um, quite understandably so so let's try the braking nice smooth braking on the car yeah overall 
not that exciting to drive but for your a to b family runabout and obviously in this ex model with the nice panoramic roof and nice heated leather seats it's a nice pleasant interior to sit in for sh both short and long journeys and the way the suspension is set up is just bang on right so it's not too soft so it's not too wallowy over bends or rough terrain but it's just compliant enough that you get a good comfort level but also a bit of reassurance around the corners that it's quite stable so nice little balance there altogether so drive wise not too bad at all just don't expect it to be a sports car that's all so as you've seen it's no sports car but it's a nice comfortable safe family vehicle and essentially that's what this is for isn't it if you wanted a sports car you don't get an SUV like this get yourself a two-door Honda S2000 that's what you do but look at the inside looks lovely doesn't it really good nice design dash um, well it's not gonna win any style awards but it's very practical I really love where the gear stick is there you've got your arm rested there easy to get to the gear uh, selector um, so it's really comfortable fantastic Yes, a lot of the plastics are a bit hard and brittle, as you can see, so they could improve that a little bit, but uh, they wear well. And talking of wear, one little surprise here is that, you can see, whoever owned this car, they looked after it well because this is all fake leather, and as is are the armrests obviously the seats are real leather and they're usually very robust but these armrests and those look out for this because a lot of them these crack through use and luckily in this version it's absolutely lovely that they crack as do the armrests and there's a good little eBay business going for people who sell aftermarket armrest covers but obviously for those ones you'll have to get an up upholsterer to uh, fix those but do uh, look out for that it's a common issue I'm afraid on the second hand versions of these otherwise the uh, seats uh, being real leather are very hard wearing so it shouldn't be a problem and as you can see loads of headroom loads of leg room in the front and superb comfort those seats are really comfortable um, but the bolsters as you can see are not the highest so they don't offer side support as much as they could do but they're very compliant and excellent for long journeys and in the back here loads of room six footers everyone basically and this being flat and the floor being flat you can get three people easily in here and obviously as you can see from the marks on this seat the outer two were used for uh, you've guessed it for baby seats and as you can see it's I'm five foot six and it's literally waist high so it's really easy to get babies in and out and also if you if you're those with uh, mobility difficulties again people forget you in a lot of these car reviews but I don't look at this it is superb it's not one of those SUVs that are so high riding that you have to climb up this one if you're about my height about five six I am I just literally slide on so easy to get in and out of this car for those with mobility issues but even if you do need to climb on nice grab handles and apologies obviously I haven't cleaned the car I was just keen to get the video done but it's been used by a family it's not cut anyway it just needs a good little clean otherwise you know nice practical car with good storage bins there for the drinks etc and as you can see big windows so uh, kids won't get car sick and they get to look out and this being the EX you got the nice pan roof fantastic so what's it like in terms of uh, practicality in the boot let's have a look huge boot there look at that this one unfortunately doesn't have that multi-level floor can you see there there's usually another um, it's an optional extra but you get another floor there but this one doesn't have it but it doesn't really need it look how big it is humongous so are they reliable yes they are are they economical yeah not 
that economical but they're fine they're not absolute gas guzzlers obviously but you're looking at on the motorway getting mid 30s in town mid 20s on this two litre petrol version but they're fantastically reliable the manual version is bulletproof the automatic version is very good also but you got to make sure you do the uh, uh, CBT oil service every 40,000 miles if you miss it the gearbox will go basically so don't scrimp on it and it's relatively cheap it's about 120 pound at the main dealer so why would you scrimp um, and then the other usual maintenance things like getting the rear diff oil changed as well that's about 150 pounds I think off memory from the main dealer as well so uh, these are just my maintenance items they're not things that go wrong you just have to maintain them as long as you do the maintenance these uh, Hondas are really really reliable yes the main dealers are actually not really badly priced they're quite reasonable with their prices to be fair but obviously if you know a Honda specialist then just go the right ahead and get it uh, go with them but I would definitely advise you if you're getting a second hand car buy this over the Qashqai please don't touch things like Qashqai they're absolute garbage um, this is the car to get that's my personal opinion so all the haters on there go comment away but yeah if you're looking for an automatic I mean look this is the car and in terms of spec wise please get the top of the range one the higher the spec the better get this EX model this is the one to get it's got the nice sunroof double pan roof the leather seats heated leather seats this is the one to get and although you pay extra you'll get your money back when you come to sell it on etc and it's a nice more pleasant place to be inside this is the most grown up SUV in its class only the RAV4 beats it for reliability and overall cost of ownership because it's a little bit more cheaper to run in terms of fuel economy and in terms of maintenance it's a little bit cheaper as well the RAV4 but otherwise this one looks more grown up I think it's better looking than the RAV4 and uh, you wouldn't look out of place coming into a high-end establishment or just going to the normal supermarket it just looks very very sophisticated that little bit more so that's why it wins it above the RAV4 for me and especially in this EX trim with the nice pan roof and the tinted windows so make sure you get that don't get the poverty spec ones they're not really that nice if you're gonna get it pay the little extra and it'll pay you back so hope that helped everyone do like and subscribe and see you soon bye bye